Hi, this is Adrian from AM Gardening. I've been working with the team at NQ Hydroponics to design and set up this garden. You can check them out in the links below. Also, you can find the plan and the parts list for this as well. Okay, now I'll walk you through the system. The blue drum is the reservoir. That's where the, all your liquid nutrient goes. There's a pipe tapped in at the bottom. comes across to the bucket. The bucket has a float level in it. It's adjustable so that you can fine-tune to get your water level right. It comes out of the bucket, around, and into the rain gutters. Now the holes there we're not actually going to plant directly into, but what I will be doing is I'll be planting into them using a, a grow bag method. So we're going to still have to build up the ground around it a bit to support the grow bag, but I thought it would be easier just to show you it at this stage so that you can actually understand the mechanical parts of it. I've now completed packing out. I've used pallet boards that I had available to me and I've just packed them in such a fashion that they've come up and they're, as you can see, pretty well level now. And so when I put the grow bags onto them, they'll support them nicely and there shouldn't be any sag in them either way. Here's our green shopping bag. These are what we're going to be using as our pots in this garden. Uh, and I'll show you what we're going to do to them because they've got to be modified before they're ready to go in. Okay, here's our bag. It's had the bottom taken out and the top rolled down a couple of about three inches just to make it easy to work with. All we're going to do is we're going to place our neck cup in the bottom. So, I'm going to draw a line around it and then I'm going to cut out the line and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, here's the bag. As you can see, it's got a hole cut through the bottom. I'll show you what we do now. This is the original starting bag. Well, we take one of these bags and we actually take this side, the bottom, and this side. And we cut it all into one big strip and then we cut that strip into thirds. So this is what it gives us over here. Just a sheet of material like that. We then place our net cup in the middle of it and then we'll fold in to the net cup like so. As you can see, now the net cup's wrapped up. It's just tucked in like that, so it's fully covered. Now we'll just push that through the bottom of the bag. Okay, so now the neck cup's been pushed through. We've folded the, the tabs that I had folded into the middle of the cup back out, and that'll help with the sealing when we put the growing medium into it. When you're filling your bag with medium, uh, you'll find it really easy if you have a little jig like this set up. All this is just two blocks of wood and a piece of rain gutter that I've actually drilled a hole in that fits the neck cup. So what you actually do is you take your bag, put it across, and you put your neck cup down in it like that. So that way you've actually got a nice stable environment in which to pack your bag um, and it saves packing it on the, or trying to pack it on the actual grow medium. Okay I'll just show you what I do in regards to planting the system. Now what I do is I take them out of the punnet and I get a bucket of water and then in the water I just jiggle it up and down, nice and gently. Eventually what will happen is you loosen all the soil that, off the roots. Now once that's done, you can take it over and you just plant it straight into the pot. Okay, so now I've filled the 200 litre barrel and I'm using the Psycho Grow and Grow B. Okay, so I've planted out the six and as you can already tell, one of these ones is not like the other one. It's uh, I had a spare bit of potting mix, so I thought, you know what, I'll use that last bit of potting mix, I'll put one in. So now what we've got to do, they've planted in, the potting mix is still dry, there is water in the system, so it's now starting to wick its way slowly up through the soil, but what we need to do to help them get a good start, is to actually water them from the top. Now my watering can is a very basic, it's an old pasta sauce bottle, and I've taken a hammer with a nail and just poked a whole lot of lids, holes in the top of the lid, and so now I can just water it around. That way you can give it a good shake but it doesn't drown out or pour out really quickly. Okay, so now the system's all set up. Water level's been established. So all we have to do now is we'll just keep a monitor on it. We'll keep a monitor on the seedlings as they establish themselves. So I might have to water by hand a couple of times until I'll, I can determine that they're established. Once I've confirmed that they're all established, I'll be building another frame 
similar to this one that holds that tomato plant. What I'll be doing with these ones, we'll be growing them vertically, uh, just a single stem straight up a string. Give you an idea what that means. Here's one I've got started. As you can see, it's just a single stem and it's just going straight up that string. I'm going to grow it up until the top there. So that's what I'm going to be trying with these and I'll keep you posted on how it goes.